Hey, what's going on, you guys? Bring you guys to the channel. It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for holiday. It's essentially a movie about this the two single people who have a uh, arrangement, uh, a platonic relationship, in which they only go on dates with each other on Halloween, so they can be each other's plus one when like they go to like. You know, they don't want to show up uh, at Christmas time with nobody and their family asking them, like, why are you single and stuff like that. So, for every major, well, not every major holiday, every holiday, these two go on dates with each other. Or, or, or they, they, they go to these, like, you know, holiday events with each other. And that's it. Like, they have no other relationship outside of that. But, of course, as any other rom-com goes, they, of course, what happens, listen, the movie is cliche as it gets. Like, whatever you think happens, it ends up happening, okay? People don't like each other at first, then they have this arrangement, and then, hey, they start liking each other by the end of the film. I've seen plenty of films like this, uh, 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 Plus One, that's literally in the name, and uh, the, the Wedding Year, and, like, it all, they all in the same rom-coms, there's not too much on, new under the sun you can really do with a rom-com. As much as people say you can, or well, as much as people say there is, only thing different you can really much do, I mean, you pretty much do, is like have the couple not get together at the end. And I'm sorry, but if I'm watching a rom-com, if they don't get together at the end of the thing, I'm disappointed. I don't even know if you can call that a rom-com, okay? You know what I'm saying? You might just call it a, a comedy, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, with some funny moments, or, or this, a uh, 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 this calm, disappointing comedy, okay? Uh, so, listen, watching it, I knew what I was in for. But the thing you must get done whenever making a rom-com, you have to, one, you have to make it funny, okay? And you have to have some sweet moments, you know what I'm saying? You have to have this genuine touch of heart. And I do think this this film had a, a couple of those moments, and a couple of like there was one corny moment in it, in it to me. Other than that, I kind of felt like okay, this is like this is sweet. Like this, they're doing stuff. Um, you you would want to see like in, in an authentic setting, not just like a movie setting. They're like oh, because there's times while you watch you watch a you watch a rom-com and you're like, people wouldn't do that in real That doesn't happen in real life, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing, uh, only other problem happens. Sometimes they'd be too, so they'd be too uh, fantasized, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 like, they don't feel like real people. But these two actually feel like real people. And like I was saying, the biggest thing you have to get uh, get across in like rom-coms is the characters. You can, like I've said this a million times, you can have a cliche story. But if the characters I have, you have to follow it in that story aren't good, it sucks. But if the the characters are great, then the movie it can take just like a cliche storyline and be great. This one, the characters they were okay. They weren't bad by any stretch of the imagination. I've seen worse, but I've also seen better. Uh, like the movie, two movies I mentioned, uh, plus one. And uh, the wedding year, I like, I mean, the characters in those movies, films are better. These two, I feel like the chemistry was hit and miss at times. But when it was working, it was really working, okay? Um, and there, there are a lot of uh, scenarios where you just kind of like, okay, this is when this happens, this is when this happens. And, and it plays out just like that. So given the fact that this movie is cliche, which you, you pretty much like... From the description, you know exactly what's going to happen in the film. But, like I said, the only thing that, is, that the film has to do is like give you some characters to latch on to. And granted, you're not you're you're not in love with them, but they but they're good. You know what I'm saying? They're not uh, they're not you're not bored whenever you're with either of them. And a lot of times they're mainly together, but like you're never bored with them. It's just. But but I think that's another one of those things. I think for when your movie is as cliche as this one, you need the characters um, to like to like really really nail it. And these they just did you know a feasible job for the film. So overall, I have to give the film a C. It's just like a solid rom com. It's one. It's another one I'm gonna put on my notch and be like, 
you know, if I had to watch it again, I would. It's not it's not one of those where I'm like, oh my god, no. No, I would if I was like had a chick, she's like, oh let's watch something, you know, it's like a a a, a, a little rom com or something on Netflix. I granted there are plenty of Netflix got a, a variety of rom coms and a lot of times they don't miss. This one, because this, this isn't a miss, you know what I'm saying? So they, they have varieties, but this one wouldn't be on the, one of my first ones to pick, but like it's, it's definitely an uh, okay watch. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys are staying safe out there, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.